Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Chair of Love Reading. My name is Morty. I'm excited to have you guys here. Uh, today is June the 20th. It's Thursday. The time is 12.43 p.m. And it's a beautiful day outside. I've already been out there uh, breathing in, inhaling the fresh air, just taking in the sunshine. Uh, yeah, beautiful day outside today. So where I live, they finished the pool last week. So uh, I may go down to the pool this afternoon with, uh, with my son Maximus and take in some sunshine for a little while. So anyways, looking forward to, uh, to enjoying that today. So looking forward to doing this, uh, doing this Tarot Love reading. I realized today that um, yesterday I forgot to do the crystal healing bowl at the beginning of the reading. So I remembered it today. So I brought it out for us to uh, to tap for a moment here, just to uh, prior to starting the reading. Okay, all right, so let's get started with uh, with today's Daily Tarot Love Reading. Uh, keep in mind this read is, it's actually for everybody uh, when I think about it, right? It's for those of us that are seeking love, right? seeking that soulmate, that twin flame, that special person in our life. Uh, it's also for those that are already in that relationship, right? You've already found one another and, and uh, come together in union. You're just looking to raise and elevate your your vibration, be able to experience more joy and happiness in, in your life. Uh, and it's for those that are single that may not necessarily be searching for that special person. You're just looking to elevate, raise your own uh, vibration so that you can manifest and attract more love and abundance into your life. So, I don't know, I like to think it's kind of for everybody. <clears throat> so the first thing we wanna do in today's Care Love Reading is pull an affirmation card just to see which affirmation would be best suited for us to hear, taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading. So the music I'm playing in the background is the 528 Hertz opening your, your heart chakra. Just some good soothing vibes. Okay, beautiful affirmation taking us into today's tarot love reading we drew the affirmation of harvest the number 43 which reduces to a seven seven represents spiritual wisdom and strength as the waves of the ocean are infinite as the trees in the forest grow tall let my work now bring me to harvest I'm ready to receive my all as the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. Okay, beautiful affirmation. Taking us into today's Tarot Love Reading. So beautiful in fact that I want to take just a moment and read to us from the guidebook about it because I feel like there's more messages that are meant to be heard with this affirmation. Okay. You have sown the seeds, done your work, and magically thought about your life. The time is now coming for you to harvest all the results of your actions, thoughts, and dreamings. What a momentous time, because it is through harvest that we learn who we have chosen to be and what we have chosen to do. The universe now guides you to look ahead to see where you will be going so you can make any necessary changes in the present moment so that when you bring in your harvest, it will be good. If this spell chose you, the universe is telling you that the time is coming for the results of all your work, all your words, actions, and thoughts to manifest in the world. You shall sow as you have reaped. What will your harvest be? You, more than anyone, know how you have lived and what will be. 
Your destiny is so very much your own creation. This spell will help you to bring about the very best of the coming harvest. Make any necessary adjustments and learn quickly so that harvest shall be a time of bounty from this time forth. If you chose this spell, you know you have a little more work to do and action to take to create the very best outward manifestation of your work. With this spell, you will learn more about what to do and where to focus in order to bring about the very best harvest for you, to, for you and for yours. This harvest will sustain you and you will learn so much and as a result of casting this effective, practical, magical spell. Okay, so beautiful affirmation for us, uh, taking us into today's Tarot Love reading as we're moving into a time of harvest where, I don't know, for somebody out there, right, your thoughts, your words, your actions, all these different areas in your life where you've been investing your energy, right, spending it, investing your energy to manifest and to create, right, you're getting ready to step into a time where all of those energies that you've invested are about ready to manifest and turn into something beautiful for you. I don't know, I'm listening into this affirmation, right? Because I'm drawn to it. Um, I like what it has to say. Okay. Right. So the first thing I want to do is pull a net, pull a card to see what the opening energy is taking us into today's tarot love reading. I pre-shuffle my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time, and then I split the deck three times and I pull the bottom card, and that shows us what the opening energy is. Okay, beautiful. Okay, opening energy taking us into today's tarot love reading is the Two of Wands. Uh, Two of Wands is a good, a good energy, a good card. Uh, it represents the energy of a courageous risk taker who's getting ready to set out and embark on a great adventure. Um, his companion is the dragon, right? The dragon holds the world in its tail. So for some of you, this, um, this adventure may involve some traveling, possibly some uh, traveling to different parts of the world. I mean, this is a great energy, great card. I, I notice the waters ahead of him, they're smooth waters, right? As he ventures into this journey, you can anticipate uh, a smooth journey going into it. All right, tell us more. Okay, too many cards on that one. to the two of wands we have the page of cups so pages are messengers right this is news cups are emotions feelings love right so this is news coming into somebody's atmosphere of uh, it's a message of love she's up to her waist in water and she's standing underneath a full moon so there's a lot of emotions and feelings connected to this card she's staring into this water lily that's illuminated in front of her has a message in it, a message of love. She's trying hard to read it, but she's unable to read it so far. Maybe too soon. Okay, coming in next to the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords. Uh, Queen of Swords is a good energy. Represents air sign energy, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, I kind of look at the Queen of Swords energy as a cleaning house kind of energy, where if I were looking to make changes in my life, uh, and I were looking to assess my life and um, remove things that were no longer serving me, I would want to embrace and take on this Queen of Swords energy. Uh, she carries a sword, doesn't like to use it, but will if necessary. 
She holds a sword in one hand and a butterfly in her other hand. The butterfly represents rebirth, right? And that's a rebirth that comes after um, she's cut out energies in your life that are no longer serving you. Okay, so coming in next to the Queen of Swords, showing up at the center of today's tarot reading, uh, it's a strength card, right? Pretty important energy. This is also the card of Leo. So some of you could be in a relationship with Leo. You could have a Leo in your life. It'd be pretty significant. Uh, but this is the universe pointing out, recognizing your inner strength. Right? Her companion is the lion, representing power and strength. She's guided by eagles, so she's following her intuition, recognizing your inner strength. Okay. All right, well, we have a love reading, right? We now have the lover's card coming in next to the strength card. Uh, lover's card is also the card of Gemini. So some of you could be in a relationship with a Gemini or seeking a relationship with a Gemini. You may have Gemini somewhere in your chart. But this represents the energy of two people choosing to come together because two were stronger than one, right? Coming together in union. For many of you, I think this union may be for the first time. Uh, so pretty exciting. The energy between you know these two individuals on this card very good energies, right? Energies that they go well together, right? They resonate effectively with one another. <coughs> okay. Well, it kind of just shot right out, right? So we'll take it. Now we have the unknown card. Uh, a unknown card coming in next to the lover's card. Uh, anytime this card shows up in a tarot reading, whichever cards it's associated to, uh, whatever questions are there, it just means that the answers may not be meant to be known right now, right? It may be too soon. Possibly because choices haven't been made yet. Okay, coming in underneath the Page of Cups, we have the Three of Swords. Uh, so Three of Swords is a limiting energy, right? It represents the energy of heartbreak, loss. It could be setbacks, disappointments, three swords impaled in our heart, right? And some of you, there may be some significant meaning to the number three. Um, so initially, when this first took place, uh, it was heartbreak and pain person felt right but that's what was felt initially but afterwards right came the growth right and it's important for us to recognize try to stay focused on the growth of, of this experience if we could Page of Wands. Page of Wands is coming in next to the Three of Swords. So Page of Wands represents, pages are messengers, so this is news, uh, and it's fire sign, uh, energy, so it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if so, probably a younger energy, but a message coming into you. Uh, I feel like there could be some creativity behind this message, right? So it could be a phone call, an email, or a text. Okay, all right, 
right? So showing up at the center of today's tarot love reading, coming in underneath the strength card, we have the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. So some of you could be in a relationship with an Aquarius, or you may be an Aquarius. Uh, this is a beautiful energy in this card. This represents the energy of manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. It's a balanced energy. Right. There's some importance to balance here in, in today's reading. Um, as this is showing up at the center of the reading. And this energy, it's all about balance. She has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. She pours one cup on dry land, one cup in the water. She's standing underneath eight stars, eight representing good luck and good fortune. Coming in underneath the Lover's card, we have the King of Swords. So King of Swords, we have the King of Swords on the board and the Queen of Swords on the board, right? So we have a couple. Uh, King of Swords is air sign energy. So Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. King of Swords is a good energy. Uh, King of Swords, he knows his truth, right? He stands by his truth. Uh, it's not the kind of energy that gets distracted, right? With gossip and, uh, yeah, lower energy. Uh, he just doesn't get pulled into that, right? He focuses on his truth. He sticks to the facts, what makes sense. Uh, pragmatic truth. It's a good energy. Okay. Coming in underneath the unknown card, we have Temperance which is also the card of Sagittarius, right? So some of you could be in a relationship with a Sagittarius, or you may be a Sagittarius. And again, we're coming back, back to balance, right? One foot in the water, one foot on dry land. So this is the universe's way of letting you know that everything that's taking place here with you is taking place in divine timing. Uh, universe is well aware of all that's, all that's transpiring here. She's surrounded by butterflies representing rebirth kind of a magical energy as she pours a chalice of water into a chalice of fire. It should just put the fire out, but instead it creates this beautiful rainbow. And it does that because it's universally, divinely timed. Okay, wow. So I was just barely talking about balance, right? The significance and the importance of balance. It's the energy taking us out of today's tarot love reading. We have the Two of Pentacles, which is all about balance. Uh, if you look at the figure in the card, she's carefully balancing these pentacles on the ends of her arms. Uh, and she's going about it pretty effectively. I kind of like the pose that she's holding. It's almost like she's kind of showing off with her sense of balance. Okay, guys, I have today's Tarot Love reading done now. I need to take a moment, look at it, and see where the cards are placed in terms of relationship to one another. I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to share by way of messages. So give me just a few moments. I'm gonna keep the background music going. Um, just give me a few moments and I'll come right back and I'll give you your whole reading start to finish. Uh, so you can sit back and enjoy the soothing sounds of the background music or you can fast forward. Completely up to you.
I really like today's tarot love reading, by the way. I like all the readings. It's done an amazing job of pulling me right into it. Okay, so I think I have it here. So opening affirmation, taking us into today's tarot love reading, harvest, right? So for somebody out there, we're looking into stepping into a time in life where this harvest that you've been spending your energy on, right? It's time for harvest, right? You're moving into a time where you're ready to receive this harvest. Getting ready to embark on a great adventure, right? With two of wands kind of energy. Uh, this is exciting. Very smooth waters uh, as you work your way into this adventure. A lot of passion, a lot of excitement is connected to this energy. So for somebody out there, I feel like you may have been waiting, right? Waiting for a message of love. And for whatever reason, this message didn't show up and you felt it, right? You felt it with every ounce of you. Heartbreak, loss, disappointment. Um, that's what was recognized initially with this energy. Right? But then we moved past it. We moved past the pain and we moved into the growth. So I feel like for some of this, you were able to obtain a stronger sense of independence, recognizing your value and your worth because of this experience. So at that point, you took on the Queen of Swords energy, right? You looked at your life and you said, I need to assess which energies continue to serve me and which energies no longer serve me anymore. So you embraced this Queen of Swords energy, made changes in your life, right? Message coming into you could be coming in by way of a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it could be connected to right, this new beginning is connected to the Queen of Swords, and she holds the butterfly in her right hand. So showing up at the center of today's tarot, tarot love reading, we have the Strength card, which is the card of Leo, and coming in underneath that, the Star card, which is the card of Aquarius. So some of you may very well be in a relationship with an Aquarius, or seeking a relationship with an Aquarius, um, or you may be an Aquarius. But this is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, right? Harvest time. But it's also about balance, right? Very important. Um, it's like when you're able to maintain your balance, it does amazing things for you in terms of connecting you with your inner strength, uh, which allows you to be able to move forward and to manifest all your hopes and dreams. Okay, and manifesting, right? What are, what are many of us manifesting? You're manifesting love, recognized in this lover's card, right? The card of Gemini represents two energies coming together, two people choosing that two are stronger than one. Coming in underneath that is the king of swords, right? So one of these individuals may be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, king of swords, he knows his truth and he stands by his truth, right? It's his truth, right, that's taking him to this relationship. Okay, so when does this relationship happen? When does it come together? When do these two loves come together in union? Well, it's gonna be different for all of us, right? We have the unknown card showing up here and coming in underneath that is a temperance card. Everything taking place in divine timing, right? We're on the universal schedule right now. So this is about being very patient, right? Being patient, giving ourselves the opportunity to trust, to trust the universe. Trust the universe, be patient, and be balanced, right? Focus on our balance. Um, and balance is what brings the union of these two energies together. Uh, it's all about balance. In fact, 
It's your sense of balance, right, that brings together these lovers coming together in this beautiful union. And it is a beautiful union. I mean, I can feel the energies I'm holding the card here. Uh, it's beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm done with today's tarot love reading. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share it with you. Uh, I hope it resonated with all of you. I think that it will. I feel like there's some good messages in here. Um, good guidance and good direction for all of us. Okay. All right, it's June 20th. It's Thursday. Time now is 1.08 p.m. Uh, go out and have a beautiful day today. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be able to share this reading with you. Uh, I love it. I love being able to connect with you guys and to be able to turn on the camera, show up and provide this reading to you like this and be able to try to share these energies, right? Beautiful energies of unconditional love. Anyways, I hope, uh, I hope all of you guys were able to pull some messages from this reading and because of that, able to raise your vibration and experience more joy and more happiness in your life. Thank you so much. Have a great day.